Hello Leo, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. My channel is still new, so if you haven't already, please subscribe. I am uh, just a little bit over a hundred people uh, until I get a thousand subscribers um, here on YouTube. I'm so excited to get there as YouTube will let me do things like post once I get to a thousand subscribers. So if you feel inclined, please subscribe. Uh, for everyone else who has already subscribed, everyone who's always my, already my viewer, thank you so much. I appreciate you all so much. I love your comments. Um, these readings aren't for me, and so sometimes they get a little confusing. I don't understand how things are working, but the cards are saying what they're saying. My guides are saying what they're saying. So when you guys um, write comments and let me know how this is working uh, in your life and how you were receiving clarity because of this or that and how that was true and so forth. It really helps me out. It really um, shows me why Spirit asked me to create this channel and it's really fulfilling. So thank you all so much. Um, everyone who is new and doesn't know, I'm also an author. I'm writing an action adventure love story based on superhero twin flames. It's based on my life and my twin flames life. This is uh, the physical copy of the book, I've written two of them so far. This is book one. It's called Perception, the two yet one. Book one, these are um, my characters, Luna and Sunshine. Uh, we call him Sunny for short. Uh, it's all about, I'm all about twin flame, uh, masculine and feminine energies. Uh, and this is the back. I just love my artist. Uh, his name is Noel Ventura. He is so awesome. Uh, they, these books are from Amazon. They are so well made. I, I just love them so much. So I just finished reading um, this one out loud live on Facebook and uh, uploaded all those here to YouTube for you to enjoy. So if you've already watched, uh, listened to all of those chapters, fear not for there is a book two. Here is book two already published, already and look at that, that's, is that an MMA octagon? It sure is. So uh, all the links that you need for my books are below in the description box, uh, including to purchase them from Amazon. Uh, there's also a link from my friend April's astrology channel here on YouTube. Check her out, subscribe, she's so awesome. And if you would like a personal reading, that information is also in the description box below. Now, as a reader, um, I read uh, minor arcana cards as messages about your free will, and I read major arcana cards as messages uh, about your divine blueprint. Your divine blueprint is the plan that you made before you incarnated in order to learn uh, certain lessons in your life that will raise the vibration of your soul. These lessons uh, continue to come back. They'll keep popping up throughout your life if you do not learn them. And sometimes uh, they'll just go away. And that means that you have to learn that in your next life. So we're dealing with some, a little bit of um, destiny here, but not really because we have uh, free will. Nothing set in stone and free will can change everything. Now let's get started. Right here in the middle of everything, at the heart of everything for you right now, Leo, you've got pentacle energy, earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. It looks like you're going back and forth about something here. Um, you could be uh, juggling two people. It could be that you have two choices in love. But you know what I'm feeling? This is, this is mostly about money. The card that is crossing you here is also pentacles. So... And also your third card down here is pentacles, getting ahead of myself. I always get ahead of myself. Everybody who watches this knows that I do that. Um, so uh, you could be right now uh, in the middle of, uh, you know, doing the daily struggle. Okay. Um, this is, you know, like you're, you're, with your money, you're just kind of juggling things, you know, paying this first and then paying that later, that type of thing. Could be you are having some issues you're, with your money. Your life is a little topsy-turvy right now, okay? And you're doing your best to keep, um, to keep it all uh, copacetic, 
running smoothly. And this is the energy that is directly affecting this or is uh, the result of or is affecting uh, this. Oh gosh, get it out. I'll, okay, I'm tripping over myself. This is the energy that's directly affecting this energy, the Two of Pentacles. It could be the result of the Two of Pentacles and it could be totally independent of it. And this is balance, okay? I think that you are going to receive some sort of balance. Um, you're trying to keep your balance here, okay? You might be doing a good job here because of um, this energy right here. Now, let me explain this energy of the Six of Pentacles. You see how this man is giving to these two people? There's, okay, just saying that now, Sorry, I'm getting messages that interrupt what I was about to say. Now, he is giving to two people. You may be as well. See what I'm saying? You are struggling for balance. This is a balance in itself. And it's because of the good works that you've done. See how this, this man is being charitable. He's, he, this represents equity and balance. There's the scales of Libra right there. So even though this is an earth card, to me, this is a card of Libra because this brings in balance. So if you're struggling, someone may help you because that is the balance of the good karma. That what you, This is your good karma for the good works that you've done. The, the good energy from the good works that you've done is coming back to you and assisting you in this time where you're juggling your money or you're juggling, um, you know, people who need your attention. Perhaps people may need you to help them. And so in order to help these people, you may be uh, having to juggle your finances so that you can help them. Or you could be you know, uh, trying to juggle your finances and someone, because of your good karma, someone comes in to help you. Okay. See what I'm saying there? This is, um, yeah, I call this, this one boomerang energy because it's the energy that you send out the good energy. This is all about good karma. The good energy that you send out into the world comes back to you. And so it helps you with this, this, balancing this juggling act that you're doing over here okay so at the root of all this we have the knight of pentacles in reverse now the knight of pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck because he's earth energy everything vibrates everything moves even stones they look like they're just sitting there but they're actually vibrating but because they're earth they vibrate so slow we can't see it okay that's why he's slow. What does that mean? Air goes fast. Water goes fast. Fire burns fast. Um, earth tends to look like it's just sitting there, right? Now, those are the four elements, not including spirit. So, this knight brings a financial blessing with him. This is the ace of discs. This is the divine seed to be planted and he moves very slowly. You'll see that he's standing there. He moves very slowly because he does everything right. This is in reverse for you, which means he's not moving at all. Okay, he really is just standing there doing nothing. Whereas when he's like this, he's still moving. Even if he's stopped for a break to give his horse a break, to give his horse water or food, that has to be done so that he can keep moving, right? But in reverse, he really is just standing there not doing anything. And so you've been waiting for some sort of blessing to come in and, it, and you've been at a standstill. You've been stagnating. You may have even been getting a little discouraged. But spirit is telling you, spirit, uh, Leo, I've seen all the good works that you've done. You will have balance, okay? Now, the next energy that we read here is the energy that's moving out of your life at this time, okay? Now, this is fire energy, which is your energy, along with Sagittarius and Aries. And this is the king, the king of wands. 
Okay. Now, the king of wands in reverse is not that. Now, I, I just think that this is lack of patience. This is a volatile temper. This is the inability to see others' points of view. This is someone who has a, a temper, someone who can be um, possessive and jealous and, you know, a fiery temper, basically. So, I mean, this might describe how you've been feeling. You may have been feeling um, impatient and kind of cranky about it. Or this could represent someone else in your life. And it doesn't have to be another fire sign either. It could just be somebody that embodies this energy. But I'm just feeling right now that you you have been really sick and tired uh, of waiting because of the, the impatience here and because of the night not going anywhere. You're just like, ah, oh, when, when, when is something going to change here? Well, I think it did change because of this energy right here, which is why this impatient energy is on its way out. Now, so you've got earth, fire, you've got water, you've got no air, okay? Now, air is logic. So, yeah, with this energy right here, um, you, you maybe your logic went with all this just kind of went out the door for a little while, okay? So remember to use your logic. Now, um, the next two cards for me as a reader are um, future cards. And here we have this beautiful Four of Wands card. You know, I, I almost just put it right side up because it really doesn't matter if it's reversed or right side up. This is a beautiful card. This is the 1111 card. This is the Twin Flame card. This is where I would tell you right now uh, to pause this video or do this after, but look up 1111. It has another message for you. This is marriage. This is love. Okay, this is uh, harmony, prosperity, peace, all of that, joy, happiness. Um, sometimes when it's in reverse, it'll uh, mean different points of view. Okay, so um, if that's what this has been, this two different points of view, or, you know, you've been going back and forth because you don't know what to do, you know, because of, of this card over here. Um, getting ahead of myself again. Okay, so this is um, in your near future, I believe. No, this is your near future. Yeah. In your not so near future, you are going to have this beautiful, beautiful energy of the four of wands. Same energy as you, fire energy, of course, wands. So there's going to be some sort of increase going on here, some sort of um, a victory and love and home and happiness and partnership, okay? Now this is um, the next energy that we read, and this is basically a uh, confusion, okay? Now, um, confusion can be caused by being in your cups too much, okay? If you uh, have, this can uh, speak about um, alcoholism and also uh, things like drug addictions, you know, pipe dreams and things like that, where you're confused because your mind is clouded, okay? This is a card of uh, choices. Okay, so many choices, so many options you, that this guy just doesn't know which one to pick. You know, I mean, can he pick more than one? You know, this, this looks pretty good. This is a, a dragon, you know. Is this dragon going to be the kind that is uh, intelligent and helps me, or is it going to be the kind that eats me? This is a, a victory wreath. 
Is that a true victory or is there uh, the rest of the stuff inside this cup rotten? You know, see what I'm saying? So this is you having these options, but for one reason or another, your mind is is clouded, you're confused, you don't know which one to choose. Maybe because they all look so good. Because with this, this uh, Four of Wands over here, there's going to be some goodness in your life. So maybe you're just like, wow, those all look really good. Which one do I pick? Can you pick them all? Can you handle all of them? This is, this is, this can even be options that aren't even um, real. It may look like you have options, but you don't. But I'm thinking that, no, these are good options because of this card. That's what I'm feeling. Because that didn't feel right when that came out of my mouth a second ago. Okay, so this is your hope card. I think that you're kind of hoping that you have some more time for, for something. Because when I get the judgment card... That's when I feel, I always hear this phrase, it's time. Judgment, it's time. Well, this is in reverse, and this is your hope card, okay? So you, I know you're not hoping to have poor judgment. You're not hoping for a divorce or disappointment or theft. You may be hoping to procrastinate a little bit when it comes to this. There's an element of procrastination with the judgment in reverse, okay? There's elements of weakness um, and also a decision to be made. Judgment is a decision. So you're hoping to not have to make your decision just yet, which is which also speaks to the uh, procrastination element that comes with this card as well okay now this is a major arcana card so these feelings you are supposed to feel these feelings learn everything that you can from this it's part of your divine blueprint this is your environment or state of being card now this is more of your energy wand energy fire energy uh, this is the, the card of communication, energetic communication, communication that goes off fast. Uh, in reverse, this has the element of miscommunication. It has the element of the inability to judge or to make decisions. So, inability to make the judgment. You're hoping that you don't have to do it right now because you can't. Maybe because of a miscommunication. Okay? Uh, in reverse, this can also represent uh, arrows of jealousy. This can be the internal dispute of which one do I pick? Okay? This can be... Um, you, you just... Yeah, this is the inability to judge or make decisions. You want to put off the, this decision because you're, you're already confused because of miscommunications. So you're going to get to a point where you have to make the decision. This one is going to happen first. Once you do, everything is going to be really happy and hunky-dory uh, because of this, because of all the good works that you've already done. You, once you make this decision, Spirit will bless you or is already blessing you and letting you know it's okay, Leo. You can make this decision eventually. It will happen. Wow, so this is all about a decision that you've got to make and you just don't know what to do. Now, the next energy that we read is your fear card and what? This is your own energy here, Leo. And it's right side up. Even if it was upside down, it would still mean happiness. Just that's one of the things I really love about both of these cards is it doesn't matter if it's upside down or not. These are both happiness, joy, celebration. Um, 
just when they're upside down, it's just to a lesser degree. But Leo, this is right side up. Why are you afraid of your ultimate joy and ultimate happiness of being in your own element, the sun? Movement forward. You're, uh, I think this might be the universe's way of telling you that when you make this decision, it's going to bring you happiness. This is your fear card because you're afraid to make this decision. Okay, but the universe is saying, make the decision, Leo, it's going to bring you happiness. But of course, you have to choose the right one, right? You've got to choose the right one before you can get to this. There's nothing to be afraid of, says the universe. This is you. you know, your sunflowers back there and everything. Now, and here is your balance. Finally. Not just balance, Leo, but divine balance. Balance, 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 and truth. Okay, so if you've got miscommunications, and this is why you're just like, oh, what the heck, I don't know which one to choose. Your good energy is going to bring you the truth. And not just balance in your life, but divine balance. Okay? I feel this more than this. This, this could be a Libra. I mean, this is, this is serious Libra influence here. There's heavy Libra energy going on here. But I feel like this, this balance that you need, you're out of balance right now. Uh, you're juggling this right now because you just don't know which option to pick. But the universe has your back because of all your good um, all of your good energy, that you deserve this justice, not just balance. You will have justice. Okay? Why? Here is the underlying energy for you, the magician. Because you've been manifesting this. Okay? Now, don't forget to use your logic and intellect because the magician uses everything at his disposal see this pentacle that's earth the cup water there's a wand right there that's fire and his sword is his intellect he's got another wand up here and this is the eternity of spirit and the this is the eternal lemmasket the other place that we see this in the, uh, in the tarot is in the strength card, which is your card. This is saying, this is balance. You're meant to have it, Leo. Okay, and they're telling me again, take up your sword of truth. Take up your sword of intellect and logic. Okay, because this is the one element that's missing from your reading right now. You've got earth, you've got water, you've got fire, but you've got no swords here. Okay? The only sword that is here is the sword of truth, which is coming at you with your justice. So I think this is a really good reading here. Let's see what else we can get for you. How about we use the tea leaves? I sure like those tea leaf I got a few of these here. I got unicorns, I've got angel answers. But I like to, I really like these tea leaves because you get a lot of messages usually. And um, let me show you. Tea leaf fortune cards. Now this is a really huge deck, okay? So I can't shuffle the whole deck all at once, which means I will do it in two stacks. Is there any other messages for Leo? Anything you would like to reiterate? Anything you would like to give as direction? Any extra messages? Whoa, they look pretty flipping good so far. Okay, here's the other stack over here. Let's see. Okay, because these cards, I just mix them all together. There's actually a couple of different stacks. You can get um, time frames. You can get, oh, dang it. I have to get that one out. It fell. Okay.
Okay. Oh, 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 they're everywhere. I'm going to have to pause this. See how they just pop out like, whoa, like little fishes. I just love this guy. Plus, I like that they're round because that's, that's the feminine. Feminine is round. Okay, hang on. I got to get these cards. Okay, wow. So these are great cards. Look at you've got rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over. Yay. Oh, that's really nice. Okay. Horse. Ooh. Short journey. Huh. That makes me think of this knight of pentacles over here. Maybe he's at a standstill because he doesn't have much further to go, right? And when I think of this rainbow and I think of the six of pentacles, whoa, love, 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 love. That is definitely going over there on the four of wands. Let me get these guys here. Okay. Oh, let me do the percentage. Um, now, uh, how much of this is in your control? I, I can gauge that by the number of major arcana to minor arcana cards. Okay, like I was talking about a certain amount of destiny. You've got one, two, and three. So three out of ten cards means that, yeah, this is in your court, Leo. It's your decision. But don't worry, you're going to make the right decision. Okay, because the most difficult part has been, is already over. That's what I think, you know. Now it's just um, picking the right decision because then everything is going to be happy. So horse there, love there. Okay, so these, oh, you've got a month, September. Something is going to happen in September, uh, maybe the result of this, okay. And we've got tree, affairs with your family. Okay, I'm going to put this over here with the four of wands. Mountain road, you are on the road to success. Woo! You sure are. I'm going to put this over here on justice because that's the justice you deserve to, to be successful. Dealings or relationship with an older man. Okay, I don't know where to put that. Well, maybe... If, well, I'll just put it down here. Um, fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Okay, so like all of this here is pentacles. Okay, so this is obviously a business situation. Okay, bear, danger, especially in money matters. Mm -hmm. See, you already know that. You already know that. I'm going to put this over here by this miscommunication. There's obviously some miscommunication. Obstacles to overcome. Yep. Mis uh, oh. Indecision. Okay. And teardrops. Oh, great personal sorrow. I think that, that you've already been going through that right here with this King of Wands in reverse. So um, you are on the road to success. And the, the most difficult part is over. I think this teardrops is spirit's way of saying I know that you've been going through a lot of pain. But it's over. The worst part is over. Okay, Leo. So that's really awesome. Uh, this is just uh, don't worry about it. You're going to make the right decision. Okay. And uh, everything is going to be beautiful from that point on. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I'll see you next time.